And a major development in a case linked to Baltimore City Police corruption. A judge just sentenced a drug dealer in the case that launched the government's investigation into the Gun Trace Task Force. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at federal court with the emotional sentencing and the significance of this defendant. Mike? Jessica, a 22 year sentence. His family members wept and pled for mercy before the judge. This is the case that started it all. Police were investigating a string of suburban overdoses. They set up a wiretap. They soon found out that Baltimore City police officers were part of the drug trade. A judge sentenced heroin dealer Antoine Washington for his role in a deadly drug ring. He sold the heroin that killed a teenager from Bel Air. The investigation into that overdose led the feds directly to the Gun Trace Task Force, a corrupt unit of Baltimore City cops. Disgraced Detective Mamadou Gondo had been protecting the drug crew, enabling their business to flourish into a multi million dollar operation. Well, I think Mr. Washington is appreciative uh, of the judge uh, imposing the sentence she did, considering the fact that there was a mandatory minimum of 20 years and he only received uh, two additional years beyond that. Washington himself addressed the judge. He said, I'm not perfect. I've done some things I regret and I'm sorry for what that young woman went through who overdosed. He said his prayers went out to her family. There were many good qualities I think the judge recognized in him. He has a great potential for the future when he gets out of uh, jail. At trial, prosecutors read Antoine Washington's text messages where he bragged about the overdoses as evidence of how good his heroin was. The case evolved and, and we really followed the facts in a number of directions that I never would have anticipated. All as the epidemic was ravaging suburban Harford County, which has had more than 100 overdoses just since the beginning of this year. At trial, people testified how they'd come to Baltimore City from the suburbs to buy drugs. And this case showed how the heroin epidemic has torn apart so many families. The judge told Washington that he was selling poison to other people's loved ones. Live at the federal courthouse, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you. All of the Gun Trace Task Force officers are awaiting sentencing.